Here. Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique. We're taking a look at a different project every single time and give my honest thoughts on how that project is being ran. And today, I am very excited to be checking out the 83rd most popular project on all of Kickstarter right now. That is the Luba, an intelligent perimeter wire-free robot lawnmower and spot-on advertising, by the way, on uh, on YouTube. They just gave me an ad for a robotic cleaner for in-ground pools and, like, great advertising. Anywho, Luba, the intelligent lawn... The intelligent perimeter wire-free robot lawnmower, no perimeter cable, multi-zone management, mow up to 5,000 something, obstacle avoidance, app control by Mamo Motion. Very exciting stuff. Living in the future. These things are typically very expensive, though. Uh, I like the, they got the main image. It looks cool. Maybe zoom in just a smidge bit more. I'd love to see a little bit more, but uh, overall, just the basic idea. It really excites me, and I feel like they they let me know an intelligent perimeter lawnmower. Uh, I'd love to see a price on here, especially if it is just a simple one-size-fits-all price. Uh, or is there going to be deluxe modes? So it's raised 10 million Hong Kong, Hong Kong, which breaks down to 1.3 million dollars. So massively popular financially, yet still 83rd in popularity. Makes me wonder how uh, how poppin' this is going to be, because. In theory, this should have a very robust updates and comment section with people talking and chit-chatting because this is a very specific niche that is going to be interested uh, in this. In addition to everybody else. In addition to all the regular plebes like me who know nothing about the technology. But the people who do know the technology are probably just going to, you know, really be able to cross-chatter in here. But anywho, 75% uh, slope, don't know, auto-recharging. Oh, that means it goes back to its base. I love it. I'm excited. As always, when I go into the video, I'm thinking three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Convince every Kickstarter backer that. Let's go. Relax. Forget about mowing the lawn. Introducing Luba. Your perimeter wire-free robot lawnmower. Setup is easy. Just walk with Luba to set hassle-free virtual boundaries. Wow. RTK allows for centimeter level accuracy. Mow the perfect lawn faster and more efficiently. Cut more grass. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go back to that. Hmm, that's a nice shot. That's a really nice shot, especially if you're one of those diehard enthusiasts who already has one of these, and you're like, oh yeah, mine does that, or used to do that before, you know. Uh, so I like that more shot. Efficiently. Cut more grass at once using large dual cutting plates. Luba can handle rugged terrain without getting stuck. Suspension arms improves ground Whoa. gripping. In-wheel motors allow for powerful torque. Luba can climb even the steepest slopes. For large properties, mow multiple lawns. Automatically traversing between different mowing zones. Wow! Using four ultrasonic sensors, Luba can detect obstacles in its way and automatically pass around them. Luba is built to withstand the toughest weather conditions. Good to know. <laughs> to avoid cutting wet grass, Luba returns home until the rain stops and continues mowing where it left off. Cleaning is a breeze. Your lawn wow. is right at your fingertips. Choose where and when not to mow. And how you want your lawn cut. Wow! After a long day at work, Luba automatically returns home to recharge. So say goodbye to mowing. And help. That thing does not look very large. Uh, the one on the right looks like it's going to summon Satan. Uh, cutting weird shapes into your lawn like that. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a really good video. Hello to enjoying life. Do I want it 100%? Yes. I feel like that was a really, really well done video. And as someone who has to cut their lawn, you know, I own a home. It, you know, like, just so appealing. Uh, so the can you do it, how much is it, hopefully we can get to that. So, uh, that I do not know from the video. So, Mamo Motion, first created, zero backed, that scares me. Founded in January 2022, Mamo Motion is committed to leading a more intelligent, efficient, eco-friendly outdoor lifestyle, for providing solutions and innovative, battery-powered, intelligent robotics power tools. So it's not just this, they're going to do other things 
as well. Let's check out the website. Hopefully it doesn't just take me straight back to the Kickstarter. Unlock 48% off now. Oh, by back in the Kickstarter, I imagine. Yeah, okay. So MSRP, that's probably going to have to get me. What do we got? Stuff. Okay, so pretty much it's just telling me all the stuff from the Kickstarter video. Got it. So can you do it? Not 100% sure on that one. How much is it? Don't know yet. Uh, guaranteed delivered by Mamotion. Shipping begins at the end of July 2022. So this is a pre-order. Straight up. Couple months. Instant gratification almost. Be mowing with this summer. I almost would have mentioned that in the video. 2022. This could be you. Uh, Luba has redefined the way of mowing. Meet Luba, a revolutionary robotic lawnmower that delivers the picture-perfect lawn with a hands-free experience thanks to more than 80 patents. Uh, Loop features advanced RTK navigation and interconnected smart system allows users to program virtual zones in the app schedule. I saw it in a video. It's good stuff. Uh, first test. There we go. Where's the sound? What we got here today. This is a robot lawnmower. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I feel like so much Kickstarter tech has been missing, which is just people using the thing actually getting to see the thing in motion this is the luba so easy just put it there my motion tech real quick before we get started all that noise in the background is a new map why wouldn't they do it in this yard like why would you just go in your yard okay, the final part of it i wanted to show you it's okay here we go Wow, that is quiet. Um. <clears throat> okay. I like that. It makes me feel more comfortable on the can you do it. Not a hundred percent, like you're promising the moon here. You're not. You're not only promising the moon, but you're promising the moon on a relatively new product in the market. You're saying, "Hey, we're gonna blow away literally everyone else that is doing this," um, which which could be awesome. It's concerning though. Let's see this one. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Love that shot. I mean, that's. A, I will say, we're seeing this at about the easiest possible grass that we could potentially get, which isn't great. I'd love to see this in like some get really busted up yard. Take this into my backyard. I want to see this thing navigate through the the six inches of grass, the three inches of dog poo, and then the the balls scattered all around, and the you know all that sort of stuff. I'd love to see a test like that. But still, granted, can you do it? This makes me feel good seeing that sort of stuff. Featured on things, setting up losers never been easy with the app control. I saw this in the video. Versatile for our lawnmowers. Is this a jalop? No, Pickstar, Longham. So we should have some good updates of customer service, I do believe, with the people in here. All right. Looks good. Stuff. Navigate it. Yeah, I watched the video thing. So there's a finger. Is that an animated finger? That looked like an animated finger. Whatever. GPS tracking. Oh, oh, so this was the anti theft. Automatically locks Luba, leaves your GEO fence. Moreover, you'll be notified of potential theft with alert via your Mamotion app, allowing you to track Luba. That's really awesome. <coughs> Makes me feel good right there. Uh, intelligent rain sensor, user friendly and safe to use. Low noise operation, water resistant. This is all too good to be true, and I hope it is. Control Luba at your fingertips. Why choose Luba? The S brand and the H brand. Why not just mention them? Are they going to sue you? You're just mentioning stuff about them. Twelve ninety nine. So you now have let me know the price, um, which is good. I've been wondering. This is going to be a relatively short Kickstarter campaign. We're nearly towards the bottom. So they just unveiled the price on me. I want it. And I say to myself, all right, $1,299. And I'm getting a taste of the future. If I have that much disposable income, you know, if I'm making six figures, is this something I take a flyer on? Yeah, I think it is. I think it is. I think they did a good enough job selling it. Um, just based on what little I've seen. Because at the end of the day, it's either going to work great or it's going to be one of those things where it's, ah, you know, the stupid Kickstarter, but you can talk about it. It'll still be a story. Like, yeah, I got one. You can have it. It's garbage. Uh, or whatever. How Luba saves your money and time. So, yep, cool. Specifications. I get it. What's in the box? I like. I still have yet to see the actual dimensions uh, of this thing. I know they talked about the, the, the dimension that it could cut, which was great. But this thing, I want to know the size of it. Uh, so, tw $12.99. Luba plus a backpack. Hey, I'm glad I got my Luba backpack. <laughs> Extra blades. Awesome. Eight pieces. Cool. Uh, so presumably that's all I need. One clean clear, and then we have the Kickstarter price. Sold out, sold out, sold out. Extra set of blades. 
it makes sense as an add-on. Ooh, stretch goals. Free three extra sets of blades. That's fantastic. I'd mention that. You know, honestly, I go back to that main image, and uh, I, I say to myself, you know, why not mention that? Kickstarter stretch goal. Three extra blades unlocked. Like, I'm immediately just seeing more value straight from the go. I'm saying, oh, there's stretch goals. What kind of potential stretch goals would we have in a robot lawnmower? Like, I, I'm just intrigued. My interest is piqued. Uh, mystery surprise gifts. Any comments and suggestions are welcome. Okay? Like it? They're reaching out. They're saying, hey, what what other stuff would you like? You want another bag? I'll give you two bags. Behind your innovations, more about the Agile X. See it in motion. Yeah, I like the fact that they're really showing a lot of these videos. This is good. Works in closed environment beta test. Okay. Yeah, this is exactly what I want to see out of a tech Kickstarter. And then, yes, beautiful. This makes me feel way more comfortable in the candy do it. I see it in the factory. I see it can be made. I see the prototypes. I see that this is pretty much just a pre-order. I say to myself, all right, I feel pretty comfortable. Shipping. I need to know the shipping. I, I imagine it's going to be covered in here, but still at least say, hey, Covered over here. This is typically how they run it. No, the shipping is not mentioned at all. Or is the shipping free? Can I? Can, oh my gosh, the shipping's free. So that to me, I feel like is a big misstep. Uh, free shipping, especially for something this large. You know, United States free shipping. Because let's be quite frank, the majority of people backing this are going to be from the United States, right? Yeah, so 234. No, Germany. Damn, Germany coming in strong. Still, uh, U.S. number one, but wow. Good Germany. Wow. That's, uh, I, I, I didn't realize there's so many lawn care enthusiasts in Germany for a Hong Kong product. That's interesting. Okay, anywho, uh, that's the website. <laughs> All right, so, uh, yeah, I think that's a misstep, not mentioning the free shipping there, because that's, that's awesome. Save 1200 tax included, shipping will be collected after... No, so shipping is not free. Shipping will be collected after the campaign. Well, what's the shipping? Don't You don't have shipping listed here. So that's a full point grade drop, I think. Especially with the number... Because I cover all sorts of Kickstarter. The number of tech and hardware stuff I see, where people, they post in the comments... A year later, they're like, ah, oh my gosh, now we're getting jerked around in the shipping all day long on this. And that's that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a big concern to me. Because the cost to ship this could be very high. Hundreds of dollars. It, yeah, it's really heavy. I don't know. I mean, if it was, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe not hundreds, not to the United States. But still, uh, I, I need to know that. So then we have... The 40% off the Kickstarter special, 12 backers still took that. They didn't want to save money. Don't understand it. Never do understand it. <laughs> uh, the early bird bundle. And then the super early bird. Good for you, 500 people. You tech enthusiasts, you. All right, FAQ, please be organized like Reload from Colossal Game and not just this. Oh, my gosh. So if my question is question number 27, I now need to read through 27 other questions to get to mine. I hate it. <laughs> Well, these look like good questions. Uh, where is the design? What is the shipment sequence? What is the shipping fee? Here we go. Please note that VAT and custom fees are covered by us. Oh my gosh, that's terrible as well. You should mention that. Uh, no! The shipping costs are free for the following countries. US, UK, no! So, this immediately... That's a full point grade drop. Because once again, I'm not rating this lawnmower. I've never used this lawnmower. Hit me up. You want me to review it? I'll be more than happy to review this. Uh, but the actual Kickstarter presentation itself, you have free shipping and you have that covered. Those are things I think you shout from the rooftop. Because that's going to make people a lot more likely to back your thing. And then shipping shipping costs are free to US, UK, France, Belgium. Maybe that's why Germany is going so hard. But you should be screaming this. Like, hey... This is, this is free shipping to the Netherlands, to Germany, to Austria, to France. That's, a, that's millions and millions and millions of people that you could be shouting at that you're not. You know, I would, I would most definitely mention that. Uh, which countries do you ship to? Does Lugia charge itself for the batteries? I know all this stuff. Free shipping! Yes, King Fat gets it. Shush, and especially on something this big, where I'm expecting at least $100 for shipping. You know, if you said $60 for shipping, I'd say, dang, that's some great shipping. You know, so I'm expecting at least 100 bucks, and you're saying it's free? Whew. All right. 21 comments. By the way, that's some good engagement right there. Kudos to them. 
$1.2 million reach. Free Blades Unlock. Suggestions are welcome for the upcoming stretch goals and RTQ setup Q&A. Yes! This is what I say! This is what I say all the time. If you're gonna, if you're gonna ask a question, you should maybe e announce it, I think, in this area right here. Because otherwise, you know, people, they're just they're browsing and they might miss it. But if you put it in here, hey, let us know what stretch goals do you want. Awesome. Let's see what people say. I'm curious. Uh, Serfine. Garage var rect gut. Uh, I don't have great Wi-Fi coverage in all areas of my properties. However, I do have great 4G signal. Please at least have a waterproof area with a USB connection so I add a 4G dongle to Luba to improve functionality. Sounds like something cool. Suggestions for the next stretch goals. Coupon for a discount on service parts. Cover garage for charger. Nice. Electric ham trimmer. These are all great ideas. Body vinyl wrap. And look at this. Look how much engagement is going on here. Love it. And... And you know what I would even also, I would have stepped it up one more thing. I would have said in here, hey, also, uh, post your suggestions. And if you agree with someone else's suggestion, please respond to them. So we can really get a good gauge of which of these are the most um, the most appealing. You know, and, and they're going to then be leaving a lot more updates and comments. But still, 21 comments, great. Seven comments, uh, eight comments, cool. See what the first eight comments are. Just excitement. Great start. Now let's get this production. Congrats. Let's get moving. <laughs> Congrats. Let's get moving. Okay. I, I guess. <laughs> Mammo Motion promised sell your connection, but now Luba do not has anything like that anymore. Now you always talk about Wi-Fi, but we have no clear information about that. Does Luba support 2.4 and 5G? Can we set more than one Wi-Fi hotspot with different names? Is Luba able to switch between different Wi-Fi networks? All right, so this is about seven hours ago. Hi, Rene. This answer is for your fourth question. Once the mission is set to get to the whole workflow, even itself with Wi-Fi, you can receive a message about Luba's status remotely on your cell phone. We will get back to you after confirming the questions with our team. So she said, here's an answer for one. I'll get back to you on the other. <clears throat> okay, great questions. You can post a video where we can see your team working on this project, the factory production line, etc., I think in this way you could make it safer and more attractive to invest in your work. It would be important to both you and us. Hey, River, thanks for the suggestion. We will see what we can do. Great suggestion, River. We will forward your ideas to our shooting team. What RPM do the cutting blades turn out for the second time? We saw your question, waiting for a response from the engineering team. Uh, hey, Martin, we will try our best. So they're really on point with this customer service, at least engaging with the people. Possibility of extra stretch goals. Okay. Okay, looks good. Looks like some good customer service at front, which is good. So, uh, final grade for the Luba Intelligent Perimeter Wire-Free Robot Lawnmower. Do I want it? Yes. I feel like the video is really well done. And as someone who loves the idea of something like this, I was convinced. Can you do it? You're promising a lot. You're shooting for the moon. I appreciate that. Even if it's, you know, 85% of as great as you say it is, I'm going to be really happy with this thing. And so I said to myself, can you do it? You showed me lots of videos of it doing things. You have good customer service. You're showing the manufacturer. I say, yeah, I take a flyer on this one, especially when I get to the price. And I say to myself, $1,200, or was it 1299 1300 bucks. So 1300 bucks. But this, in theory, is going to be super cool, great talking point, make the neighbors jealous if it works as great as you hope it does. You know, it, it's, it makes your life easier. And it's just a super cool factor. Like, if this is the kind of thing that you bring home and it, it scores big with the family, you're a hero. You just saved everybody so much time and sweating and energy. It's just, it's so cool. Um, so I, I love the idea of it. And then you have the free shipping there. So 1300 bucks. That's, ex that's what I would expect to pay for something that's straight out of the future. You know, boom, rip this out. 30 years from now, how many of these are going to be around? I imagine a lot. You know, this is literally your chance at the Jetsons. Uh, so overall, I feel like this is getting a good grade. Full point grade job for not mentioning shipping. Being free? Free shipping for something this big? Free VAT? The VAT's covered by us? It's all eaten up? Um, so I think that's a full point grade job. And other than that, I don't really have too many nitpicks on this one. I would spruce up the main image a bit, but so I'm going to go with the, I think I'm going to go with B plus on the Luba and Intelligent Perimeter Wire-Free Robot Lawnmower. I thought they did a great job of convincing me to 
spend $1,300 on a lawnmower. But let me know in the comments below, what is your final grade for the Luma Intelligent Perimeter Wire-Free Robot Lawnmower? And as always, if you enjoyed this content, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below as we're trying to reach 10,000 subscribers to celebrate my 10-year anniversary of making YouTube content. Bye-bye!